It's my first time doing stand up. When I told my friends that I was going to do stand up for the first time, they were all very annoyed at me because they think that I'm part of a group of men. And quite a dangerous group of men. And that's men who think they're funnier than they actually are. <laughs> Now, my friends, they have one ask of all of you tonight, and that's that you don't smile or laugh at all. I mean, you, sir, you're already failing miserably. What's your name? Greg. Greg. Yeah. With a name as boring as that. <laughs> With a name as boring as that, why are you smiling or laughing at all? <laughs> about cinema because I don't know how to do stand-up and that's something I do know how to do. And when it comes to cinema, I'm very pretentious and I have three rules, okay? I, I believe these rules should be laws, okay? Rule number one, a cinema should not in any way at all be fancy. And what I mean by this, I don't mean like a beautiful kind of theatrical cinema that has like lovely red seats. I mean cinemas with sofas and the tickets cost 19 quid and there's a bar at the back. And why I hate these cinemas is because you'll be sitting down, you'll be watching the film, it'll be the climax, the main bit, and next to you, there'll be a middle-aged couple saying, should we get another strawberry margarita? <laughs> no! No, it's the main attraction! Middle-aged white people used to be so cool! <laughs> they used to let you watch Ben 10 and play violent video games at the mate's house. Now, now all they do is drink alcohol and get divorced! <laughs> my cinematic experience, I think it annoys me because of them. It annoys me that they'll be late, no, seriously, it annoys me that they'll be late to the film and they won't see the film they're supposed to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain this using Nemo. Have you seen Nemo? My respect for you is just quadruple. I'm gonna spoil Nemo. If you haven't seen it, I don't care. You're an idiot, frankly. Um, in Nemo, if you miss the first five minutes, you miss the fact that Nemo's mum dies. <laughs> rant to my therapist 26 times. <laughs> I've only had two sessions. <laughs> my third and final point is that don't fucking talk during the film. It's really simple. And what annoys me is you'll be sitting in the cinema and there'll be someone behind you saying, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? Maybe just watch the fucking film. <laughs> I mean, what are they expecting? Are they expecting the writer to be in the front row with a cigarette saying, Oh, well, you're about to see my Act 5 twist. <laughs> I had a really, really bad instance of this when I took my younger brother to see Matilda. Now, he's 11, and we enter the cinema, it's filled with toddlers, and they were brilliant, they were brilliantly behaved. And we watched the first 15 minutes, and it was a really good film. If you haven't seen it, Greg, go watch it. Now, <laughs> we're watching it, and 15 minutes in, these teenagers, these three teenagers come in, they go and sit at the back, and they start playing a game of who can say cunt the loudest. <laughs> the mums, the dads, the babysitters, everyone's gasping because these teenagers keep saying cunt, cunt. And my brother's sitting there next to me, he's like, how do you, what does that mean? How do you describe what that word means to an 11 year old boy? And I, I said, okay, it's a word, a very naughty word, used to describe people that are maybe quite mean. And then he says, well, Miss Honey and Matilda aren't mean, so I get really annoyed. And as the film goes on, they keep saying it during the key Miss Honey and Matilda scene. And by the way, Matilda is a film about standing up to bullies. It's about that. So I, I take inspiration, I stand up, I put on my Mr. Man voice, and I say, shut up or I'll get you kicked out. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was Matilda Greg. I don't know. <laughs> These teenagers, they start trim. <laughs> they scuttle out of the cinema. And then everyone's silent. These teenagers just run out, and my brother's sitting there in hysterics. I'm feeling like an arsehole. Like, what, what are you laughing about? He's like, you're such a cunt. <laughs>